is um, on the emotional side. Um, when we had the Mumbai bombing, they, we all were in tears, we all were outraged, and that was a synagogue as well that was bombed. How did, because we never, in this country, we never saw those news, how, how did the Jews felt about it? And I want to know, please, if you can, what was the emotion at that time? Uh, how did they take it that here you are, some thousands of miles from Israel, and someone manages to do that? And it was not as if it was done by accident, because one of the bombs that went up, it, it was by design. So how did people of Israel felt about it at that time? So first of all, it was strange because we were not used to this sort of violence in India. I said before, India has no history of... But in many ways, it was imported from India. We know it wasn't... Uh, yes? It wasn't... Sorry, it wasn't Indian at all. It was a Pakistani attack. I'm, uh, I understand. The Mumbai attack... I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yes, yes, yes. But we also we saw amazing solidarity from the government and people of India, support. We saw it coming out very strongly. For us, it was a shock because people were killed. It was a terrible, terrible attack. And OK, so we are shocked, and you are shocked. What is the most important thing? That we work together closely to prevent these things happening again. This is the most important thing. To be shocked and to be outraged, angry, that's fine. But then you have to work together to keep our people safer, to keep your people safer. And so I'm proud to tell you that today in security cooperation, in intelligence cooperation, in counterterrorism cooperation, India and Israel are working together very, very closely. The terrorists, the extremists who bombed in Mumbai, yes, they have international relationships, correct? We know that. We know that. Uh, we can only defeat them by having an international networks that will fight against them. And like-minded countries who are threatened by these terrorists, we have to work together, and if we work together, we will defeat them. And that's the bottom line. And so when these outrages happen, we have to be angry, yes? And we have to show disgust, but we also have to be motivated to work even closer together to defeat these people. I believe that very strongly.